Removing a brain tumor can be tricky for surgeons and painful for patients. Now there's a new way to take out these lesions. Surgeons are actually using the nose as a pathway to the brain. A few months ago, just walking his dog would have been too much for Robert Matthews. I wasn't stable walking. My speech was slurred, and I used to always have these migraines, and they were bad. Tests showed Robert had a large, non-cancerous tumor pressing on his brain. When you first find out that you have any kind of foreign thing inside your head, you want it gone. Robert's doctor said he needed a craniotomy, which involves making a large incision to open the skull and going deep into the brain to remove the tumor. But then Cleveland Clinic surgeons told him about a new option. Essentially, we use the nose as a channel or a pathway to get up to the brain. Two surgeons enter through the patient's nose and cut a tiny opening in the brain covering. They use special instruments to remove the lesion through that small hole. These surgeries are like a finely orchestrated dance. Uh, they require two surgeons to be operating uh, with four hands through the nose. Instead of a cut from ear to ear, the internal incision is just two centimeters. Surgeons don't have to disrupt the frontal lobes of the brain, and that means less pain and a faster recovery, four to six weeks, instead of three to six months. Hey guys, you ready to eat? Robert hasn't had any symptoms since his surgery, and now he can enjoy his pets without any pain. Now, not everyone with a brain tumor is a candidate for this particular procedure. The patient's tumor has to be at the base of the skull, although the surgery is risk less risky than a craniotomy.